The San Diego Chargers have come to terms with Pro Bowl quarterback Brandon Flowers. I'm Jim Basco with the latest ESPN headlines. Flowers was cut by the Kansas City Chiefs in a cost-cutting move earlier this month. San Diego, as Eric Williams reports on ESPN.com, had a little over $2 million in cap space available, so it appears they got him at a reasonable rate. We are joined by Eric Williams, who covers the San Diego Chargers for ESPN.com. And Eric, he played mostly inside for Kansas City. What does he bring to the San Diego defense? Well, I think he brings experience and adds depth to a young secondary as a guy that can come in and potentially start for the team outside or play as a slot defender in passing situations. And so um, they improved a defense that finished number 29 overall in terms of pass defense last year. So he'll be able to compete against uh, Richard Marshall, Steve Williams, and Brandon Gee, opposite of starter Sharice Wright. And um, you know, I think it allows them to take their time with first-round pick Jason Barrett, mm -hmm. who's coming off a of shoulder surgery. He hasn't done a whole lot during offseason. They're hopeful that he'll be ready for training camp, but now they don't feel like they have to rush him because they have a guy that can – obviously come in and, and play a lot of snaps in Flowers. Eric, you mentioned, uh, Eric, uh, Verrett, the first-round pick. They have 11 cornerbacks on the roster. You mentioned some of the names, but with Flowers in the mix here, do you put him in terms of the food chain right at the top? I think he makes him come in and, and earn a spot. You know, mm -hmm. Richard Marshall played solid for this group during the back stretch of last season when they went to the playoffs. So I think he penciled in as your starter right now because – he knows the system and, and can come in and play right away. So I think he make Flowers earn his, his, his reps with that first unit. But obviously he's familiar with AFC West having played mm -hmm. for the Chiefs for the last six seasons. So he's going to be familiar with other opponents like the Raiders and, and the Broncos. And he fits well in what they want to do defensively. You know, they're more of an off uh, cover man scheme versus what they're doing with the Chiefs with more press. So I think it's a good get for this team, particularly sure. if they're able to get him at a reasonable salary, and then you see if he can if he can earn future years with this team. Well, he's 28 years old, and he earned his first Pro Bowl appearance just a season ago. So this is a productive player, gets it done on the field. And we mentioned the fact that San Diego had a little over $2 million left in cap space. They appear to have gotten him at a reasonable rate. Why did he choose San Diego? Well, I think for the reasons I just mentioned, I think, First of all, fit. You know, I think he feels they can come in and, 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 and be successful in the defense that they're running right now. Um, I think he also took a trip to San Francisco. Um, so he's also probably more familiar, again, with these teams that he's going to be competing with, you know, playing Denver and Oakland twice. And then, you know, he gets to play against the Chiefs, the team that, that cut him, a chance to, to show that he can still play against uh, Kansas City, you know, twice a year. So I think those are a couple of the reasons why he – he chose the Chargers maybe over the Niners or other teams that showed interest. Eric Williams covers the San Diego Chargers for ESPN.com. Eric, thanks for the insight. Okay, thank you. Again, Brandon Flowers have come to terms with the San Diego Chargers. He was a Pro Bowl corner with Kansas City just a season ago. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Basquale.